Hello everybody. I just thought I would do a quick video here to show how I made the saddler pulley set up for this lawnmower. Watching all the other videos on YouTube, most of the guys on there weld, so they just weld them on. I don't have that luxury. I don't know how to weld. I don't own a welder. So I had to come up with a different way to fabricate an idler pulley. As you can see, I've changed my rear pulley. This used to be a 9 inch pulley. Now it's a 3 inch pulley. Which probably makes this lawnmower go about 15 to 20 mile an hour. It still mows good in first gear and second gear. Second's kind of fast. But it mows good in first gear. And up front, I've still got the stock pulley up under there, as you can see. The deck pulley, but the deck's off of it at the moment. I've been working on it. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all how I did this setup because I can't weld. I'm not that lucky. So basically, what this is, this bracket here, this is a bracket from Lowe's that is designed for post and beam construction. This bracket was originally flat. I put it in a vise and bent it 90 degrees here. And as you can see, it bolts up to the side of the frame here. I used the stock holes in the bracket here and over here and here to mount the pulley. So all I did was put this in the vise and beat it over 90 degrees, mount my pulley on it, and there you go. Easy idler pulley with no welding. After mowing with it for a couple of hours, I figured out this bracket isn't quite strong enough. So what I have done to strengthen it is I have taken a heavy piece of metal wire. Let me see if I can get up here and you can see it. Yeah, you can see it on the top of the bolt there. Going over the sides of the frame. And coming over here. I had to drill these holes in the frame right here. And here, I had to drill these myself. That's how the bracket bolts on with the pulley. And you can see my piece of wire coming over here and here, which is attached to the main spindle bolt of the pulley. And now this pulley is really solid. It's not going anywhere. So, I think this setup is going to work. And probably about the best thing anybody's going to come up with without a welder and a torch or whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. I thought I would share this because I haven't seen another similar video. More to come later.